Hi, and welcome to my channel. My name is Taylor, and I'm going to take you along our journey of our Disney trip in 2022. We stayed at Caribbean Beach Resort. It was our first time staying there, and it was absolutely beautiful. Highly recommend. We stayed in the Jamaica part of the resort, which was super close to the Skyliner Hub. Um, the hub connects to places like the Pop Century Resort, Art of Animation, Hollywood Studios, the Riviera Resort, as well as Epcot. So this is a super easy way to transport to the parks as well as some other resorts around the area. And it was something that we truly loved about staying at the Caribbean Beach. First ride of the day is Remy Ratatouille. We're doing it! <laughs> Our first day, we got to Epcot super early at Rope Drop to ride Remy's Ratatouille Adventure for the first time. This was our first time going on it and it was absolutely adorable. I definitely recommend getting there for Rope Drop because we only had to wait about a couple minutes before park open and then we were basically on the ride within about five minutes. The theming of this area is just absolutely breathtaking and the ride is just so true to the movie, which I loved. Number two is Test Track. <laughs> it is only nine o'clock in the morning and we're- Two rides already. And we're going on Guardians of the Galaxy now. We just rode Guardians. <gasps> it was awesome. It was the best ride ever. <laughs> Matthew I keeps looking it was... away. It is not for the faint of heart though. No. It makes Space Mountain seem like an old freaking 1800 wagon. <laughs> After riding Guardians for the first time, we took a trip over to Soren because the weight was super low. And then we also took a break at Living with the Land, which is one of my favorites. I love the fact that you can kind of just relax after a busy park morning and just look at all of the beautiful greenery and different innovations that Disney is using to grow some plants. So that's what we did to end our busy morning and it was just absolutely the best morning and start to our vacation. First food and wine stop. I got the Lamington cake. Mom got the Impossible Burger. Dad got the Shimmering Sips Mimosa. What do you rate your Impossible Burger? Very, very good. <laughs> That's not a rating. What's our rating system? Uh, how many Epcot balls out of five? I would give it 4.5 Epcot balls. Okay, Dad, rate your... Everybody rate it. Five, four, two. I would go four. This is the cherry cider burger. flight. This is the cider Macintosh. And that is the bold imperial apple. And the apple tart from Apple Seed Orchard in Canada. You only got two forks. Yep. Which is which? That's good. Which is which? Both in this order, I think. This one's the best so far. Mmm, that's good. I wasn't expecting it to be warm. This is the bold rock one. So this one tastes more dry to me. It's very refreshing. 
This one is the original Sin Hard Cider, Macintosh. That's bitter, sour. This one's like the most authentic cider tasting one so far. The original Sin is yeah, it's good. Blake's That's Hard the Cider. One. No. Mm -hmm. That was on this side. Oh well, Mom messed me up. Blake's Hard Cider tastes really good. too sour. So this is the original Sin one. Oh, you may. They mixed it up. Would you recommend the cider plate? I think so. After a busy morning at Epcot, we decided we needed a rest because clearly this was how we were feeling after a busy park morning and some tasting of food. So we went over to Disney's Animal Kingdom and watched Festival of the Lion King. We are so glad that the Tumbling Monkeys and everybody is back after a long time off and this is our first time seeing it since um, COVID. So that was super exciting. After DAC, we went to La Hacienda de San Angel at Epcot at the Mexico Pavilion for dinner. I had some yummy shrimp tacos. They were probably the best tacos I've had on a Disney um, vacation and then we watched Harmonious from inside which was honestly one of my favorite parts of our vacation. It was something that we've never done before and something that I would definitely recommend to anyone who has never sat down at a restaurant during the fireworks. It's just a nice way to relax and enjoy the beautiful show of Harmonious. everybody and good morning from Caribbean Beach. Today is day two and we are going to Magic Kingdom in the morning and then Hollywood Studios at night. Welcome back to the vlog. My name is Taylor. If you haven't seen these videos before, I'm so glad that I get to record this trip. It's been super fun. We've been able to do a lot of rides because it is not super packed so along with us. This is my fit of the day. I have my light blue ears, 50s t-shirt, light blue shorts, and then Reeboks. <laughs> Number two is Big Thunder Mountain. <laughs> Show. 
our night at Magic Kingdom with fireworks from Splash Mountain. We honestly did not plan this. It kind of just happened that we were at this point in the ride when this happened. And this is another one of my favorite parts of the trip just because fireworks are one of my favorite things. Our third day was at Hollywood Studios for the most part and I didn't get a lot of footage unfortunately, but we rope dropped and did Tower of Terror which is one of my least favorite rides as you can see and we also spent a lot of time in Galaxy's Edge and I was able to make a lightsaber which was amazing. There is just something super magical about making a lightsaber in Disney, especially growing up as a Star Wars fan, and it definitely met all of my expectations. It was also our first time at Oga's Cantina, and I ordered the Best Bin Fizz, which was super fun and super yummy, and we had a lot of fun there, especially recommend for Star Wars fans. The next day we spent our day at my absolute favorite park, Animal Kingdom, and we were greeted with some beautiful performances. <laughs> day we spent riding rides like Kilimanjaro safaris and the animals got really close but I don't have a lot of footage because it absolutely poured this day and you know it's not a Disney vacation unless it pours right we actually got to eat at Yak and Yeti at the sit-down portion. If you know me, you know I absolutely love the quick service version at Yak and Yeti. So trying the sit-down for the first time was so good and so yummy. Are we getting wet? No, not too bad. Hello, family. Okay. concludes our 2022 vacation. I hope you all enjoyed and thank you so much for watching. Hopefully we will have some more Disney vlogs to come. Ooh.